Are you guys uh, surprised that Goldberg speaks negatively about you guys and uh, he said that you guys tried to sabotage him? No, he's a mark. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I was going to ask Scott, you actually said that Goldberg was a mark, and I was going to ask you if you he agreed. You never got it. See, he's, I, I like Bill as a human being. I like him personally outside the ring. He was a mark. He's one of these guys that just like, I, I would have been over if 20 years during my career I would have never got beat. What the fuck? I mean, what kind of mentality I is I think that? I said on the other interview, his first road trip was Roanoke, Virginia. He's standing at the baggage carousel like a lost puppy. I've been on the road a lot of years. I go from, hey man, who you riding with? Oh, nobody. I said, look bro, I get free cars, free rooms. Come with me if you want. I know where the gym is, I know where the restaurants are, I know where the building is. Make this legit. Did you do the radio thing too? <laughs> yeah, he didn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to the, the ball head. head. You put rosin on your and palm. Then, and then, because he was in Goldberg then, you know. And uh, then when he started to get successful, his, his early contracting was coming to an end. I introduced him to Barry Bloom, who negotiated a hell of a deal for Bill, and he ended up becoming a very wealthy man. So why would have heat with me? Yeah, every time know. you sit in your Barracudas and all that shit, just realize who bought those. I don't know, but you know, I have heat with everybody. So exactly. Don't worry about. It. To me, he he had he's he's passionate. He's he's got a personality. He's an alpha male. It's just like I mean, it's if you're not one of if you're not he or I nine times out of ten. You ask a hundred people in a room, do you like those two? They'll be like, no, I don't like them. You want to work with them? Oh, I'll yeah, work, work with them. I'll work with them. They'll them. make you look great. But I don't like them. How would you guys have booked WCW Invasion Angle different than Vince did? When we came back? Not when you came back, when, when he bought WCW and then a lot of the guys entered the company. I'd wait to wait to fucking have, have, the WC, have WCW, have the guys, besides you know, having just Booker T and, and Dallas. Wow. Shane, Shane McMahon called me then. I had called him to thank him for, is that one kid, the kid went to rehab or something? I don't know, I called Shane or something to the fact, I said, hey, thanks for taking care of my buddy and all that. And he, and he said, well, actually, uh, Paul did that, and I was out of his own pocket. And I said, well, anyway, thank you. He's like a little brother to me, I just want to thank you very much. He said, well, hey, uh, here, uh, here you're going to Japan. I said, yeah, I just want to find out if I even want to work anymore. He goes, well, you know, uh, we, you know, you always got a place here, you know, of course we might have to, you know, put you on that good boy clause, you know. So I went, well, you know, I'll talk to you when I get back. I came back, I got over, I had a great tour in Japan. They offered me a contract the second day. And I went, you can't afford me, can you? <laughs> and my sister said, you know, probably not. <laughs> but anyway, I get back, Shane calls. All right, and he goes, how'd go in Japan? I said, you mean you didn't hear? He goes, yeah, I heard. He goes, I said, you know what, I still love wrestling, and you know what, I'm real fucking good at it. And he went, uh, no. And I said, you know that good boy Claus? F that. <laughs> but I told him, I said, I don't want to be lost in the shuffle with a million other guys coming in. Right. And see, the, like Kev just said, in, anybody that the fans would have associated with WCW, all the top guys, Stay. our contracts were, weren't transferable. You know, you couldn't buy it. like we. Most of us we had 11, 11 to 16 months left on deals. This is what killed me was when I got, when, when I was offered, it was like, um, I think my last year, my contract, there was like 2.4, something like that, because I had to like, I had worked other little incentives into it. So they basically tell me, we'll give you 50 cents on the dollar. All right, so I'm giving you back, I'm giving you back a million three, and then you're gonna guarantee me 750 of that back downside, and if I go on the road and bust my fucking ass, I might be able to make back to where I was if I sit home and watch TV and smoke pot. <laughs> Gee, let me think. What'd you uh, do, Kev? I sat home, well, watch You know what? You were, you were about to tell me you did, didn't uh, Sting? A lot of guys did Sting. Sting and Goldberg, they all sat home. Good. Scott Goldberg, Steiner. Goldberg went to Vince, man. He no, he didn't go to the, he didn't, he came he out. He got all this? I thought he, he sold got, it. Oh, fuck no, he got all his. Were you surprised about Goldberg when he went to Vince? How did he get over and how he was well, pretty much hated there? Yeah, but it was, you know, I've always, I've always, always said that, that the whole, uh, the whole there wasn't anybody that got over. You weren't allowed to get over because it was like, why would you let, it was like the, the Civil War was over. It's, it'd been, what, five, eight months, a year since the Civil War was over. And what, you're gonna go let a Confederate guy fucking have your belt? That wasn't gonna happen. I mean, they, they bastardized and beat everybody that came over there. They, we came over as the NWO, we got over. 
and they killed it. They killed it, and, and you know, I just like, and I, I looked at it. And I said, you know what? I said, this tell us they weren't. Yeah, this isn't about business. This is about this is petty bullshit. And you know, it wasn't what? about money or power. Yeah, this is what it was. Got your back. This is a learning yeah, experience. Yeah, yeah, you got us back. Way to go. Do you guys think your promos would have been as good if they were scripted like they were today in WWE? Absolutely not. That's what's wrong with the show. I think we're all about that fucking show is the name of it. There's Remember when we got there? That. They would make you rehearse. It should be Monday Night Contrived. They, Welcome to Monday Night Contrived! They would take, when we got there at the end of the other thing, they would make us rehearse in front of Vince. And stuff, yeah, in front of Vince. He, he'd go now, and, and that was when they'd say stuff, and he'd go, You gotta remember now, they're gonna go, What? Every time you say something, that when Austin's what thing was over, what? If you guys were to change the business in any way, what would you do differently today compared to uh, back in the uh, 80s and 90s? I mean, do you guys think that wrestling needs to go back to characters like Diesel and Razor? No. I think production. I'm saying I'm so fucking. You know, we're in. A, I mean, and I just look at little little tiny things about. You know, when you when you're in a, uh, an environment where there's 350 channels and you're going through, and you're going, ch -ch 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 -ch, and you stop at this show and it's this single camera shot. And, you know, everything that's backstage is done with this single camera. There's no turnarounds. There's no point of views. It's, it's a it's a two, it's a standard high def two shot of a, of a handheld. And I look at that and I say, you know, from just a you know when you watch real world fucking Sydney, and you know there's there's throwing. I mean, it's just like at what point does the, does the production not pick up? Do you, did you notice one thing that Vince does in particular on his backstage things now that he never did when we were there? There are people in the hall. In the background. I, no. now, Bobby Heenan used to always go, why are... Cause when Clear they, the background! If, if they were shooting you walking down the hallway, there would never be any crew guys, there would never be any other wrestlers, never be, and Bobby Heenan used to always, God, that was one always that mention that. And now, I don't know. All of a sudden, though, I notice that, and it always makes me think about Bobby, you know? Who did you guys like working with the most when you guys were together as a team? Uh, we, I thought we, had, we did the best we could with everybody. We started off with Harlem Heat, right? Yeah. We did some pretty sweet stuff with them. Yeah, they were, I always I, remember. I like working with Booker and Steve. I remember the Steiners. I remember good. the spit spot in Las Vegas at Halloween Habit. I did some early. early I, I started with Booker, did some Bing 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 stuff with Book. Stevie came in. I let Stevie toss me around. Went like this. <coughs> I spit on him. Steve Ray is a big, proud black man, and you don't, you, you don't, you don't spit on him even when you're working. And, and I knew I was going to do it, but I didn't want to tell him because he might say no, and then I'd have to do it, and I'd get beat up when I get back to the locker room. So I did that, and he went, and people went, whoa. And he looked at me, and, I, and, and then I just went, just like this. Don't even look back, just tag Kev, and it worked so sweet. And to Stevie's credit, after Kev put him over, you know, Kev being, he being Kev down, being, 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 he turned around to me and went, Spit on me when I was on the outside. I came in, oh, I tripped on the rope, did the flare bump. And they were I fun. enjoyed working with them. Steiners were great. Steiners were great. Uh, Giant and, and Luger were Giant and Luger. Luger. We got a good match with Giant and Luger. We just did our stick, bear yeah. claw. I mean, I mean it, was, it was a pretty... Uh, everybody kind of did their part. I mean, it, you know, it was that main event style. It wasn't like we were, you know... Chinese fire drilling it out there. It's pretty just. I remember what was funny when we'd go to some towns and people go, Well, you guys, good guys or bad guys? Depends on who we're wrestling, you know. Depends, right. on, how, depends on how over the other guys are. I always, my always thing was, if, you know, if you're making the comeback, you're the baby face. If you're giving us, you're the heel. Well, that's just simple as that. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'll put you, I'll put you in some kind of a hold right now. I'm getting feeling. <laughs> Not that neck fight. Yeah, I might put you in that fight. I might do it. I might, yeah, in that I might put you in a yoke on the for the I next might. hour. <laughs> I might give you that electric chair again. <laughs> Fuck that. Bischoff has questioned whether he gave Kevin too much power. What are your thoughts on that? Too fucking late. 